Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code you need to write to remove duplicates. We'll do remove duplicates within a range, within a worksheet, but also within an Excel table. If you don't know, an Excel table is where you click into a range and you go insert table. The code is slightly different in that scenario. We'll look at the, in both the range and the table examples, we'll look at how to remove duplicates from a single column but also to remove duplicate records across multiple columns. Okay, let's get started. So we'll start with the range example. I have started the sub procedure for you uh, just by declaring some uh, variables for both of these data sets. The first one, the branch data set, I've just called RG, and the second one I've called RG2. And you can see that I've set these to be the current region for cell A1 and then the current region for C1. So let's get started. What we'll do is first of all apply remove duplicates to a single column. Now to do that, I can declare, well, I can include the variable that I've already set, referring to this column, and then there is a method called remove duplicates. Uh, has a number of parameters, the first of which is columns. And you just have to specify, even with a single column data set, you still have to use that argument, columns one. And then the other parameter I'm going to use is header. And we'll go for XO, yes, because my data does have a header, a header branch. Okay, so if I run that, it removes the duplicates there. So let's do the second example where we want to remove duplicates based on values in two columns, essentially removing a record. So the code is fairly similar. This time we're referring to the variable RG2, remove duplicates. So the difference is going to come when we have to specify the columns that we want to remove duplicates based on. And to specify more than one columns, we can use the array function. And I can just specify which columns I'm going to consider. Columns one and two. And then I can just specify my header parameter that I do indeed have um, headers. OK, let's see if that works. play and you can see that it has removed duplicates from there. Okay, so the two methods there for removing duplicates either from a single column data set or from a multi-column data set. Okay, so let's move on to the example where we're working with the table. And the difference here is in how you specify the variables. Um, so I've declared a variable for the worksheet, which I've set as the active sheet, and then two variables for each table. Table is the branch table, and table two is the error and department table, and I declare them as list objects. And then table refers to, within the collection of list objects, the table called branch. So you can see I've called this branch or not. Let's just get that so that's right, because I've been copying these sheets, let's change that. And the second table, list objects, area, department, let's just check the name on that as well, area, department, five. Let's change that. Okay, so the names are correct. Good job, I checked. Okay, so setting up the variables. This The reason I do this, it just makes the final bit of code a little bit neater. Um, so... I can use that variable. This is I'm going to do it for the branch uh, data set first. So I refer to that variable. And then I have to refer to the range property of the list object. And then I can access remove duplicates, the remove duplicates method. And then the code's similar as what we've done. In fact, exactly the same as what we did before. Columns one, header, XO, yes. We've got it. 
Okay, so if I run this, remove duplicates from the table, and then for table two, it's going to be very similar as what we did for a normal range. So don't forget it's the list object um, that you're specifying, the table you're specifying, then the range property, then the remove duplicates method. So this time we're using columns, more than one column we have to use the array function. And then we can say header equals XOS. Interesting within a table you'd have to have a heading so you may get away with not using that parameter. I'm going to just to be safe. Right, so let's see how this works. So I'll just comment out that one and press play. And yes, you can see it got rid of some records there and I've got rid of my duplicates. Okay, so two different methods for two different scenarios, removing duplicates from a range or a table. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.